I know this may seem at some point that we are like shills for this company, but I bought a varietal three pack. I kind of want to try all three of them. Okay. That so that's, kinda, you know, uh, so if you were watching uh, last week, uh, we did a uh, wine from Empathy. We did their rosé. It was their 2018. Uh, so I thought, uh, I, I gave you the option. I said, hey, there's a red blend and there's a white blend. And I said, which one do you want? And I said, the white blend, because it's hot outside. And that's what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are aboutbeverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the Empathy Wines White Blend 2018. Yeah, this is another, uh, like I said, from Empathy Wines, which is a uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, Gary VaynerMedia joint however you want to say it, wine text fame, wine library fame. You don't have to basically throw a rock very far and not hit something like either a social media platform that he's on or something that he's touched, but definitely the wine world is where he has had a huge impact. Casting an interweb rock. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Wow, do that's a, a great one. Do <laughs> interweb a, rock. Uh, I like interweb that. rock, do a search and uh, yeah. No. Wherever there and is suffering, will, you will find your, no. You and there is a, there are a lot. So this is a white, a California blend, white wine blend. Correct. There are a lot of wines in this blend. Yeah, there are one, two, so I'm three, interested. four, five, six, seven. There are seven different varietals in here. Yeah, from three different vineyards, actually. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this yeah. collection I bought of, uh, like I said, there a red, a white, Whoa. and a rosé. Uh, it was sixty dollars. Shipping was free, so roughly twenty bucks a bottle, which is what they sell them for. If you buy each of these individually in these little. Uh, three packs. Uh, this is the 2018. They do have a 2019 out as well. Um, okay. So the uh, biggest varietals in here being what have we got? Chenin Blanc, Chardonnay, uh, Grenache Blanc, and the uh, Viognier. <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Viognier. 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 There you Viognier. go. Uh, and even uh, just uh, they had one percent left over. Yeah. They were at 99 percent. And they're like. Touch of Muscat. Touch of mu yeah. <laughs> touch of so there's muscat. a lot. I mean, there are grapes in here that are typically more they are dry. There are grapes in here that are, bring a little sweetness. There are, um, yeah, there's a lot of different grapes. I'm intrigued. I, I'm sure we, I won't be able to pick out the Albarino, but I like Albarino. That's usually a, a fish wine if you find a, like 100%. Um, you mean there's salmon in it? Uh, yes. Interesting. Little, little fish swim. It's good Good with fish. Well, it's like there was with the bottom of Mescal, you've got the worm at the bottom yes. of there. So then you're Albarinos, putting... you have a little bit, little tiny fish. <laughs> Swimming around. A oh, drunken fish. <laughs> the happiest fish ever. Yeah. If I'm going to die, may it be in a white wine. <laughs> I've never, so that is, like, so by fish wine, you're saying just. Albarinos are, pair well with fish. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Albarinos, uh, when it's, you know, 100% or mostly Albarinos. Right, so I was yeah. just going to ask, so is that, like, I know a lot of times, like, when we look at different blends, like, oh, that's a lot of times only used in a blend because it's used to like lift something up or to give right. a little more structure. Is that one you can actually find on its own or, or you can, seen? and okay. we've carried one and you, yeah, you can, yeah, you can definitely find them uh, on there. That's not as well known or as celebrated, I guess, as some of your bigger ones like that are in here, but uh, Chenin Blanc's another one. I'm, I'm usually a fan of too, cause that's the Vouvray. The Vouvray from France is usually a hundred percent French Chenin Blanc as well okay. as California. But so no, I mean, I'm intrigued. This is see how this works. Well, it works together. <clears throat> Very light, pale straw, like kind of going for yeah. that that look to it. Yeah, very light. Interesting to see if there's Chardonnay in here, too. I know we're going back over all these right. Like, yeah. that was the one that kind of stood. I was like, huh, okay. okay. It smells very nice. But, but nothing distinct for me. So for me, I definitely, I get some some sweet in there. Like I said, I, I kind of, the, the Chardonnay seems to be coming out, or at least what I perceive is, as Chardonnay kind of hits, uh, like a little bit of that heavier kind of sweet. Like, I'm not getting okay. a lot of pops of, like, I, I thought... In this red blend, I thought it maybe I'd be getting a little bit more of like, you know, fruit, like, you know, your apple and, and things like that, which I get a little hint of those kind of on the back. But for me, it's more about some sweet, yeah. uh, like honey sweet. And then into, uh, like I said, again, some lighter, lighter, you know, fruits, apple, pear, you know, some, some things like that. But I uh -huh. thought it might, I don't know why in my head I was thinking, I was like, oh, this is going to be more Sauvignon Blanc. So it's going to be really pops of fruity and tart. Like I said, this is a blend, so it's its own thing. So And, and honey sweet is a Viognier characteristic to me. Oh, interesting. Um, okay. So if you are getting that. I definitely do. Like, that's kind of the first thing that hits it, me. That, is, and that's probably about, it's, it's almost like all these grapes are fighting for supremacy and none of them's winning. And it's okay. just kind of, it's just this sort of harmonious aroma that I can't. That is what's with nice. The, with lazy. a few little bits that, you, that you've uh, expressed. That's probably what I would say as well. That is what's nice. It's all those aromas at least coming together. They're not, nothing is super distinct, but they're not like 
<laughs> they're fighting each other in a good way. <laughs> like yeah. I don't quite, <laughs> is that the best way to say that? Like they're I, fighting for attention. Yeah. They're fighting for attention, but it's like a, it's, it's, fighting it's, it's a good other. choir. Like it's a good oh, yeah. blend of all those things. That's right. They're trying to outdo right. each other. Well, let's see if uh, one of them, let's see if there is a, uh, a soloist in the, uh, in the days. Yes. I would say the choir remains intact. Yeah, they're all just harmonious. Yeah, I think it's just a, it's a very nice balance. It's very it's very flavorful, but at yeah. least for my palate, uh, there's not one thing that's like jumping out and saying like, oh, I get this, and then it, like it's just like, wow, this is a really great balance of exact. I'm probably getting a little bit more of like the green apple kind of thing coming through at the end. Like I'm getting a little bit of tart. Mouth is watering a little bit, but definitely it's still that little bit of the sweet honey coming through. Uh, you know, like I said, maybe into that kind of chardonnay. Uh, grape kind of coming through, but uh, it's good. I that's like what, it. That's what I get too. Is the is if, if, if anything, it's that um, the Viognier, the that Viognier, honey, yeah, the, the honey sweet kind of coming through, but it's still restrained. I, it almost tastes like a domestic, like a California Sauvignon Blanc to me. All these things together, because mm. uh, it it just, and I can't quite put my finger on why, but it even though there is no Sauvignon Blanc in here, um, there's just a lot of different pieces that yeah they just sort of make a a good solid blend i guess that, yeah um that you could i think you have this with uh, you know as a with appetizers uh you know with crackers a cheese board i think you could eat this with some uh, you drink this with some uh, lighter fare um perhaps some fish perhaps some fish yes <laughs> No, I agree. Yeah, I like I like the balance that's in there. It's it's very good. I think the rosé kind of jumped out and impressed me a little more just because maybe I had lower expectations for it um, or just, you know, with what I had had previously and the complexity of that one just really kind of jumped off the table uh, when it came to the flavor, especially. And this one's like another very good solid offering, but it maybe doesn't leap forward as much compared to some other, you know, different whites that I've had other, yeah. you know, specific, you know, Chardonnays and some other stuff that I've had. Yeah. I think I, I wish there was more, I mean, I'm glad there are, isn't anything like where I'm like, oh, I don't like that. Right. Oh, definitely. It, it just yeah, kind of yeah. rides like this. I wish there was something that maybe go, Ooh, I really, yeah, that's, that, that's good. But, um, it's just kind of a good solid all around. Hey, and I would think this would, could appeal to different, uh, a lot of different palates. I, it, it's yeah. not sweet. It's not overly dry. Yeah. I, it's I got some fruit. It, it can, it, it could be a crowd pleaser, as one of my coworkers used to say. So. Yeah, I, 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 we keep mentioning the honey and that kind of the sweetness in there. It's not like all of a sudden it's like a Zinfandel or something. It's not like those kind of sweet things all of a sudden. It's not right. like it's, it's, it's that. It's just a little accent piece. And if you've ever had Viognier, and you haven't, you should try one. But it does have that kind of, I always describe it as like, um, if you're familiar with the falling leaves in, in autumn, that when they just kind of hit the ground and they still got a little bit of moisture on it, there's that sort of, that sort of sweet kind of aroma. That's kind of what, which is... But a lot of times what I think of with that, that, that sort of mild honey sweetness. So, <clears throat> uh, And if you're looking for other mild honey sweetness, whoa, you can head on over to aboutbeverages.com <laughs> for, my, for all, your, all your mild honey sweetness needs. Let's just go with that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is where you can find all of the podcast recipes, uh, things that we have tried over for over a decade. You can find all of that dating back to when we were just audio and not video. If you only want the latest videos, uh, you can always find those on YouTube. You can subscribe to us there. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, and in fact, if you not, uh, if you want even just more than just this podcast we're doing and want the entire show, because we do a whole live show on Thursday evenings, uh, you can find that there in archive format as well. You can find those uh, for the last couple months we've been doing that. Uh, if you only want audio, totally understand. We've got you covered there. Uh, Google there. Podcast, Spotify, iTunes, uh, any of your favorite podcast apps, just search for About Beverages. You will find us there and uh, we've got you covered. There's some, something else we should talk about though. Still three? Still three currently. Still three. Still three currently. currently. The fourth three, pillar has not been added yet, but uh, TikTok will make a move. Might be the fourth point. leg of the chair that's or something. Right. Who knows? But uh, <laughs> finally, the bar stool won't tip quite that's as much. Right. Uh, but the three pillars of social media being Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, which is the one we use the most often. Uh, follow us to find when we are going to go live on Twitch.tv slash about beverages, which is uh, most Thursday evenings. Uh, you'll find the two of us sitting and trying things and talking about all kinds of non-beverage related things as well and just having some fun uh that's when we record our podcasts and, and interact with uh with our audience and have have fun doing that uh, andrew also is letting you know what he's doing throughout the week in the gaming world what he's drinking what he's playing what is just everything anything you want to know uh, about what's happening at about beverages follow us on twitter but as we always say whether we like it or not you should give it an empathetic shot 